remembering her grandfather, Lieutenant Colonel William Felix Bruno Brown, commanding officer of the 1st Assam Regiment, Battle of Koima, 1994. Koima Education Trustee Charlotte Carty from Melbourne Port set out to follow in her grandfather's footsteps. Carty, with her three children and 20 fellow descendants of those who fought in the Battle Reach Kohima War Cemetery on 3rd of April to mark the 18th anniversary of the Battle of Kohima 2024. The walk started from Tisami, Manipur on 12th midnight of April 1st and the end point was to reach Kohima War Cemetery on 3rd April at 3 p.m. Lieutenant Colonel William Brown was the first commanding officer of the 1st Assam Regiment at the time of the Battle of Kohima in 1944. Speaking to the media after reaching Kohima, Carty said she is seeking to recreate the walk to highlight the achievement of all of the forces who fought in Kohima and to remember the local Naga people who were so vital in the campaign and in particular the fighting withdrawal of the Assam Regiment back to Jisami. Extraordinary welcome. There's been a, a wonderful welcome here. Uh, here in Kohima, at Jessame, at Karasom, at Fek, we have been warmly welcomed everywhere we have gone. I hope people who are travelling to this part of the world for the first time have seen what an amazing country this is and an amazing people who live here and they should be uh, celebrated. The Allies certainly celebrated the Nagas because they recognize how brave they were and that without their support there would have been no allied victory here at Kohima. My grandfather, Lieutenant Colonel William Felix Brown, in quarter of an hour arrived in from Jessamy with some of his men who had been fighting there five days and nights. They covered the 77 miles from that village to Kohima in just 39 hours. I can tell you it's the hardest thing I have ever done when I tried to replicate that over the last couple of days. I think those who were able to take part in the walk would also say that it was an extremely difficult thing to do. We hadn't been fighting for five days and nights beforehand. We have nice trainers and blister packs, lots of blister packs. And these men came back here, and the first thing they did when they arrived at 3 p.m. on the 3rd of April, unlike me, who went and had a delicious shower, they were given digging tools and were told to dig in. They had to face the advance of the Japanese. The Japanese arrived here on the 4th of April, which was the, was the time that the first shots were exchanged here. And then they fought, the Assam Regiment fought here until they were relieved on the 20th of April. I just find that unbelievable. And I think it's something we should all know and we should all remember. And that's what a lot of this has been about, making sure that the torch of remembrance is kept burning and handed down to the next generation. There were some older folks such as myself on this walk, but there were also uh, many, many younger people too. And it's wonderful to be able to share these stories with them so that they will also remember the great actions and bravery of our Yes, it was a, um, we started off at midnight from Jessamy on the 1st of April. We were all gathered in the lodge, the uh, council lodge there. And we counted down and we left from the Jessamy Memorial to the Assam Regiment. And we started walking. It was dark, but a beautiful night. And there was great excitement and uh, some cheering as we left. But it was hard. From there on, it was very hard work. And but everyone really supported each other. The teams worked well together. Bertie and his team kept us all um, well fed, well watered, and well looked after. And then um, the majority of us got back, which su certainly I'm surprised that I got back. But that was again because of the comradeship of everybody. How important has It was very emotional. It was also very hard. <laughs> there is beautiful Naga landscapes, but my goodness, you like mountains. <laughs> It was, it was wonderful to think that we were literally to the hour replicating what he and his men um, were doing 80 years ago. 
trying to make it as historically accurate as possible. Of course, we don't know exactly where they went, but we tried to make a, um, a, a, a good recreation. And it was very emotional for everybody involved. What can the younger generation... I think that the younger generation can learn that remembering the past is very important and to try to take all these lessons into their future. Um, and they, the, the younger people of Nagaland need to recognize how amazing their country is and uh, to celebrate it. What message do you want to convey to the future? He said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, we believe this. Let's look to God in prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father,